That first meeting was a meeting that occurred at Starbucks at Victoria Gardens. Uh, there was an immediate click. It was never a, hey, we'll see what happens. It's, I, we can get this done and we can find the house for you. We had actually set up appointments with three different real estate agents and me and Len was the first uh, group that we met with. Mm -hmm. And we decided we didn't need to meet with anybody else. I was already on the same street as that office uh, and I called in and I said, can I get an appointment? And uh, as relentless as I am, um, I was like, I want to get a same day appointment. I'm actually near your office right now. And they accommodated. I, once I sat in the conference room, uh, I met Mia and there was initial chemistry, but at the same time, because of how particular I am, uh, I wasn't still sold. And so uh, up until we, I walked out of those doors, then I was definitely uh, already a raving fan. Yeah, we were actually so impressed with the first interview that we thought, we don't think we need to talk to anyone else. And, and it turned out to be true. I mean, we were just blown away. I was working with Len at the surgery center when I worked and when I met them around like maybe 2007. When I realized I wanted to purchase a home, I talked to him, I mentioned it to him, and then he told me to meet, meet the team. They came to our home and sat down with us and spent, I think initially, like before even signing a contract, they, they spent three hours at our house, um, which I thought was really awesome because we were kind of not, um, not completely decided what we wanted to do as far as if we were going to sell our home, if we were going to rent, and then rent closer to my work. And um, you know, the whole the whole time, uh, Mia and Leonard were just completely su supportive of whatever we did. When we met Mia and Len, it was just off the bat, just super comfortable. It was never awkward. They just made it really open and friendly, and everything was transparent. They're just really clear-cut, dry, really friendly, really approachable, uh, super patient. Mm-hmm. Upon arriving at the office, the team made me feel very comfortable and welcome. So I was nervous in, in the beginning, but after like five minutes, I was like happy and friends with everybody. <laughs> We always had an, uh, an idea of like living in a cul-de-sac, single-story house, big enough space for us to you know raise a family in, and uh, they're just quick. They're like perfect. You know, we'll start our research. Um, we'll look around, get back to you guys in a few days. We saw a first house, which was clearly not a great fit, and then they brought us to this house, and we walked in and we did the walkthrough, and we thought this is the house. This is the house. This is a great house, and then they took us to one other house not far from here. And um, while we were at that house, we thought, we told her, we said, we really want the other house. And she said to us, um, great, you guys, you know, go on home. I'm gonna run back to that house and I'm gonna talk to that realtor right now and find out what our next step is gonna be. And she did that and she updated us that night and that's how we moved forward. So basically I told Mia, this is what I want, this is what we need, and we need to do that in 10 days. After we met at Starbucks, we actually went to look at some homes. And we went to look at this particular home that happened to, um, well, the street came into it. It had a facing, it faced a street. And it was like a dead end, and it dead end right into our house. And they were quick to say, the feng shui is off at this house. And they're very patient, because one week I'll be like, I don't want a big backyard. And then the next week I'm like, oh, I want a pool in the backyard. So they're very patient. They're very accommodating of what I wanted and my desire. So that really helped me a lot. I feel like from that moment of them agreeing to wanting to work with us to actually finding this house, the relationship not only as like a business transaction but more of like a personal thing um, actually blossomed from there. So we got to see the best of them in, in every way. You know, from the start they had said, we know we're confident that this house is going to close. And they were right. The interesting part was we already had uh, our listings that we wanted to look at and so literally right when I walked out of the office, you know, came home, I told Gail, I was so excited, I think we found the right person. And right when she uh, said, you know, I trust you, go for it, I sent her an email. Uh, that very night, we set up an appointment to start touring within uh, 48 hours. And basically within five days, we saw at least 10 properties. The fact that we had options is uh, gives credit to Mia and her team. It was like 
they weren't trying to sell us anything just to make a sale. They wanted us to know different things or reasons why they wouldn't buy the house or what would make them buy the house. I'm like, I would see house, I'd be like, I want this home. And then I'd see the same, like, I want this home. So, but they said like, maybe this is too big for you and mama, because it's just going to be me and my mom in the beginning, right? So this, so they gave me advice. There was a period of time where it was kind of almost like a dead end, like we didn't find it that perfect house. And uh, we kind of gave up for a bit, and um, one day it just like fell in our laps, like this is the house we wanted to look at, and they were just quick to like get all the information for us, uh, give us the rundowns, give us the comps in the area to see, make sure we have a good price going on. And um, it was like one thing after another after another, it was like a smooth transition. And um, before we knew it, we got into the house, got the keys, and here we are a year and a half later with our family like we always envisioned. So when you put an offer, of course you're gonna you're thinking about oh I'm gonna live in this house, like I'm this is what I'm gonna do, this is the paint that I want on it, and then you're gonna get outbid. So that's very discouraging, you know. We probably looked at like 10, 15 homes and I was like, oh let me out like I think I'm done. But they they've been very supportive. Like Jack, we're here for you. If you have any questions, just call us anytime. And that that is uh, that's a big help. What convinced me to also uh, work with Mia and her team on the loan side was you can't buy personal quality service. There, you know, you can't, you know, there's no value to that. It doesn't come down to just the best rate. Ultimately, it comes down to what makes the transaction more of a milestone, more of a journey. Originally, it was just going to be, you know, selling it, you know, selling our home, and hey, we can help you finance. Or, hey, we can, you know, this and help you find the house. And before we knew it, they had done so much, you know, just started from one thing and went on from there. And it was smooth. It was great. You know, sometimes you get those emails that it's like a one sentence update. It was never like that with Mia. Mia was always taking us through every step. This is where we are. This is what's coming up next. Mm -hmm. Here are all the things you need to know, you know, and that just was huge for me. What sets them apart is just truly them, like their, their being. And their, he just has a lot to say. Their whole team, um, they're just so open, they're so friendly, they're so patient. They make sure everything is clear to you and that you know what you're getting into. There's no push on anything. There have been many a time when Mia has contacted me to say, hey, I know you're in this type of loan. This type of loan might be available, might be suited for you. Do you want me to move forward and take a look at it for you? And even five and a half, six years into the process, we still have that relationship. And we know that McLeod and Associates, um, you know, basically have our back. Mm -hmm. They want to make sure that you're happy and that you're going to be there for a long time and you're happy with your with your new home. They make a difference. They, they want to make your life, you know, better. The greatest thing about them really is their, their constant communication. Like every time you're kind of wondering like, oh, I wonder what's going on with the house. Like I'd check my email and I'd already have an update. It's really easy to not trust um, somebody who's going to be advising you. But when we met with them, it was just instant trust. They make it a point to really stay involved in your lives and, and, and make sure everything's going well, everything's going smoothly at the house and whatnot. They always check in. Like, I, I feel like not a lot of people do that too much. It's just like, oh, business is done, okay, we got our part, you got your part, okay, we'll see you later. It doesn't stop when the keys are placed in the hands of the homeowners but it's something that lasts for 10, 20 years. And that's what's unique about this team. That is certainly what makes it a McLeod way because again, the journey doesn't stop at when you first buy that home. The service continues. We actually have recommended and referred, I think, three different people to them. You know, when, when we have friends that are buying houses, I'm like, do you have a realtor yet? Yeah. And they're like, yeah, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Like, we're quick to want to refer them yeah. to our friends. When I went to look on their Yelp page, I was like, you know, they have like five stars, and I thought, 
there's gotta be one bad comment. You know, there's always that one person and there is not like, and now, you know, after working with them for this last um, almost two months, it's, I know why, like who would not like them? Like who, who would give them any less than five stars? Like they're just incredible people and, um, you know, run an incredible business. And that's, I think what has um, made them so successful these 10 years. I used to work for like Century 21, ERA, and many other offices, and their whole attitude about how to work with people was so corporate. That's why I think there was that in the 90s, realtors were looked at like car salesmen. It was buy, 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 sell, sell, sell. There was no, you know, very pushy, very pushy. If you're in any business, it doesn't matter what you do. You know, you're in sales, you have to have some type of customer service and some type of compassion for who you're working with or who's working with you. Um, one thing I loved here was it, it's family oriented, it's family based, there's no pressure. You're not forcing the client to be like, oh, well, if you don't buy this house, you're not going to get into a house. Other offices, they do that. Like Mia was like a breath of fresh, fresh air when it came to this industry. And I think that's what, what really attracted me to come here and join the family, join the team. And it, it really is, when I say family and team, it really is family and team. I mean, uh, uh, the get-togethers, the, the events that are done through this office, everybody's just happy to be there. A lot of times, a lot of the families, like I said, they leave so happy that they themselves want to be a part of it. You know, they'll show up to, to the events that Mia hold, uh, whether it's a uh, actual real estate event or some type of uh, mixer because she's huge into her community which is awesome. These people they you know they want to be a part of it too. They're like oh wow can we go? Or you know once they get the evite they're like oh yeah count us in. As, as a client coming to this office I would tell them be ready for the ride because it's going to be long term and it's, it's, it's a fun ride. You learn a lot. Coming to this office, coming through this office, leaving you leave a friend a uh, happy homeowner and a well-rounded real estate buff almost. They say it takes a village to raise a child. In my experience, it takes a community to raise a business. And this, I believe, is the reason why we are still here today. We are an organic, homegrown outfit. Every contact that is currently in our database, our book of business, which is now in the thousands, is there because of honest, organic efforts. Whether someone was referred to us, we door knocked their house, met them at a networking event, and so on. We know each and every one personally. We are and will always be a client first versus sales organization, meaning our clients always come first and it's really that simple. Since the day we opened our doors, we have not taken out a single business loan. We have grown our company through every family that has come to us to sell a house, buy a home, or get a loan. I don't think it can get any more organic than that. I like to compare our outfit to that favorite hole-in-the-wall restaurant that gives that caring, small, quaint family feel, but getting that bigger-than-life experience. We place such a high value on relationship building. We make it a point to keep in touch with all the families that have come through our doors for the rest of their lives.